Hi Maura, it's Ian. Can you hear me? Hey, Yes, yes, I can hear you too. Ow. I'm here with the Danks family to watch Ian Danks from the Lowland Search and Rescue in East Anglia on a training exercise with his three-year-old GSP, 80 Calico, or Juno, to her family. Ian had Juno from an eight-week-old puppy and his commitment to pass the search and rescue exams has been phenomenal. She's wearing a special Kevlar vest that he designed for her to guard against injury from sharp branches when she's running in the cover. The hunt is for human scent, but it's not specific to any individual, so anyone in the vicinity could be found, but she is taught to ignore walkers yeah. and dogs. Ian tells me that in a real search, 75% of people are found within 25 metres of a path, so this is where his search concentrates. And that was a shake. Did you hear the shake? Yeah. No, I don't know whether she's found someone or not. So I'm going to just point my shoulders. That's way too fast. Way too fast, so I know she hasn't found anyone. The jangling bells that Juno wears are the sign that she is still hunting and the moment it goes quiet, Ian knows that she's checking scent and hopefully has found somebody. She then should give a vigorous shake, which you can hear clearly, and she then returns to Ian, sits in front of him, and he'll say to her, show me, and she then takes him to the casualty. Okay, can you see she slowed down a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Scent pool here. She's gone into the scent pool. She's shaking because she can smell. Yeah. And now what she's trying to do is figure out where that smell is coming yep. from. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it to work She's again. definitely interested in something yes. over there, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. So you, there's a total difference between what was happening over there. For sure. And there's something here. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave her now to figure it out. Yeah. To come back. Give me an alert and then take me back in. Okay. Check. Check me. Okay. Well, then let's go and see if there's someone else here. is extraordinary. That dog comes back to Ian, shakes, sits, and now takes him back to the casualty. And it's when he gets to the casualty that he then gives Juno her reward. This is thousands of acres of forest. If somebody was in here, it would take a fingertip search to find them. If you go that way, Lucy, go that way, it's a lot easier for you. Yes, thanks. Good heavens. Good. Wow. Come around this way, Lucy, come around this way. Yep. Very, very good. Good girl. Was it possible?
impossible to find a more difficult place in the forest. Well, I don't think so. You came in from the path. You've come in from an entirely different direction. Absolutely amazing. Ian and Juno, well done. Absolutely marvellous. Oh, that's just the beginning now. We've got another two to go. And so it was. Juno hunted for equal drive for two more people. It was lovely to watch Ian leaving her to work the wind, just as you would if you had a dog hunting game birds, and just intervening now and then when she missed a piece of ground or needed an extra bit of help. This is amazing because this forest is walked by different it walkers, it's, um, but the dog is completely ignores anything else that she sees. Well, if there was um, anybody else hiding or appearing to be lost or hidden, she would find them. But dog walkers, people walking about, she would ignore. Yeah, and it's so thick. You know, if someone was in there, you've got to have a scenting dog or else you've got a line of 25 people well you have and with um, because it is so dense you would have to search very close together yeah as close as two meters you know which takes a lot of manpower yeah okay, so the wind's changed and now it's hard still because it's going that way yep Come here. Yep. So I can see. She's just. I can see a body down there. Look, you see the red coat. See the red yeah, coat. Got it. Yeah, she just yep. pulled round on the yep. wind. To, yeah. So I'm just going to leave her. Yep. And I see what it. she does. There you go. You see how far the nose is up. Yep. And then. And there's a person that's just walked past there with yeah, her so dog. Yeah, so she's going to just. Yeah, so she's probably figuring out who yep. sent it to. And where it's come from. That must have been difficult with the walker yeah. so close and downwind of where you were lying and the whole area was swathed in another dog and another walker, yeah. wasn't it? So Juno has a quick relax and a drink and then a word or two from our willing casualties. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was just in my own little world there and all of a sudden Ian's voice said something and I jumped, jumped out of my skin. On this last hunt, the forest had opened out and Juno passed across quite quickly and Ian pulled her back on the right to check the bracken. I found it really fascinating to see this dog and how it had been trained to use its skills in a completely different way from the game shooting, but really operating in precisely the same way, albeit for a different end. Yeah, it's great because there could be somebody in that bracken, couldn't there? And she. The rain's coming on quite heavily now. Um, Juno seems to have gone quiet away ahead on the left. She's quick, but she's a really careful hunter. Not missing any of this bracken. It's very thick, straight ahead. Got some more walkers coming down there. This is by no means a straightforward exercise with people that have been through, but I guess that's the reality of a search.
she seems to have slowed the noise seems to be slowing up and there's a shake she seems to be telling him something and now she's he, he says show me and she's taking him into these woods subtle signs but they're definitely there. Okay. Good heavens. There's the red jacket. There's a man. Fantastic. Wonderful. Bloody marvellous. I'm so proud of Juno and Ian's achievement and their place on the search and rescue team here in East Anglia. Whether it's finding a casualty or highlighting a hotspot for a tighter search, this dog will save many hours of human searching and that could mean saving a life. Well done, both of you.